blood. Cleanse my family. Father, redeem me by your blood. Let the blood, let the blood, let the blood. Let the blood speak on my behalf. Let the blood speak on behalf of my generation. Let the blood speak on behalf of my children, my sons, and my daughters. Let the blood speak. Let the blood, the power of the blood, let the death angel pass over. Pass over me. Pass over my nation. Pass over my household. Pass over my family.
before us. Shoot our goals before us. Stretch your hand as though you're stretching it into your homes and say, Judah goes before me. Judah goes before me. This is the month of Nisan and it's the month where Judah goes before us. Let Judah go ahead of us today in the mighty name of Yeshua. Put your hands together for the Lord. celebrating the Lord the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living this is a time of redemption this is a time of celebration this is the time where the Lord will fight your battles for you this is the hour this is the season where the Lord is raising up his government in every nation Every nation around the earth, the Lord is raising up. Hallelujah. Government leadership, shoulder yes. leaders. Amen. Shoulder leaders know who they are. Amen. Shoulder leaders yes. have a governable spirit. They have a trainable spirit and a teachable spirit. Yes. Shoulder leaders. Amen. So the Lord is raising up shoulder leaders in this hour and in this season. The nations of the world are in lamentation for the new thing that is coming forth. Because the new thing that is coming forth is something that has never been seen before. Amen. We are moving out of the age of the church into the kingdom age. Amen. And so there's, it's no longer going to be service as usual and service as normal. The hour has changed and it's a different flow. And you've got to be ready to flow when the river is flowing. You've got to position your mind to hear what the Spirit of the Lord is saying and flow. You've got to flow. All of those flag bearers, we were training them last week to flow. What does it mean to flow? It means to just lift up your hands and become an instrument of worship as Judah goes ahead. So as they are waving those flags, they are literally engaging in spiritual warfare. That's why a flag bearer that does not want to wave her flag or his flag cannot come. You have to wave that flag as an act of worship, warfare. It's a prophetic act. It's a prophetic act of worship. Warfare and worship. Worship and warfare. So when Judah goes ahead, do you know what happens? We confuse the enemy. You confuse the enemy. Many of you that the Lord have chosen to be flag bearers. You didn't know, but while you were waving that flag, you were scattering the enemy. You were scattering devils. You were scattering satanic oppression. Deliverance has come to your life. Just by your obedience to hold that flag and wave that flag. So I bless God for every one of you. We are celebrating the feast day of the Lord and our celebrations continue today from last night. And it's going to continue for the rest of the week. I just want to declare the blessings of the Lord over your life today because I've already given the teaching last night about how to guard your blessings. I gave you those instructions, right? So today, the, in, what I'm going to be doing is releasing the commanded blessings over your life. Because at every high holy day, today is a high holy day. And at every high holy day, there is a prophetic window that opens over our lives. And when that prophetic window opens, it is being opened so that the people that respond to the call to celebrate will receive rains of blessings falling down upon their lives. So you are here today, not by an accident, 
but by a divine appointment. And the rains of blessings is about to fall on your life. Rains of blessing is going to fall. Go with me to Exodus chapter 23, verse 15 to 19. Let's begin there. Exodus 23, verse 15 to 19. Do we have a reader today? for you. 
Because with every single feast day or high holy day that we celebrate, you are going to begin to possess new territory. Every feast. So this feast is Passover, where we celebrate the blood of the Messiah. Between now and the next seven days, you're going to come in to a new increase. Something that you were probably laboring for or waiting for is going to be released into your life in the next seven days. Number one, because you obeyed the commandment of the Lord to come to celebrate the feast. And number two, because you are coming into partnership with the messianic altar that honors Israel. When you honor Israel and you pray for the peace of Jerusalem and you bless Israel, there are blessings that are returned upon your life. And because you are here today in obedience, you did not have to come. You could have said, well, I am not interested in this whole Passover thing. But you came because of obedience and because you have a love for Israel and the Jewish people. So firstly, we honor the Lord's peace to be honorable unto the Lord because it's a commandment. And secondly, we honor and we pray for Israel and we genuinely have a love for Israel. We cannot say we, we want to do Passover and just want the blessings and we don't care about Israel and the Jewish people. Then that will not be very nice. That will be like we're saying, well, Lord, I know when the Passover time comes, a prophetic window is open, so I'm just here for the blessing. I really don't care about the Jews. I really don't care about the rabbis. And I really don't care about what Apostle Anna says at Israel and pray for the peace of Israel. That would be nice. Now in today's world, now I know nobody like that is here. And I know no one in global churches like that. But in today's world, there are people that, that are like that. We want the blessings, but we dishonor the blesser and the creator. Right? So I just want you to understand today the prophetic significance of bringing your offerings to the altar of the Lord. You're bringing it in honor of the Lord, understanding that this is a more deep, it's a high holy day to remember and to keep it and to honor the Lord on this high holy day. And secondly, we are honoring the Lord's high holy day by remembering to pray for the peace of Jerusalem and to pray for Israel and to pray for all the rabbis. And we are honoring the Lord's Passover by telling you the, the Exodus story. That table represents the Passover table. And we're going to tell you all about it, about your Jewish roots. So what a messianic ministry does, we are a messianic ministry, that's what we do. We help Christian, Christians connect their belief to their Jewish roots. Amen? So we are helping you to connect your faith to your Jewish roots. Isn't that wonderful that you get to learn about Israel and the story of the Exodus and how they were delivered from all those plagues? Yeah, it's, it's wonderful to know our Jewish roots. So that's what we're doing today. So let's get those offerings ready. We're getting ready to come celebrating and dancing and worshiping the Lord. Bringing our offerings. That's your first blessing. You're coming into your new territory. So I'm going to begin to give you the other blessings in a little while. But let's get the worship team singing. And um, while they're doing that, start to prepare your offerings. And you're going to bring it up um, after I give you the instructions. Okay? So I'll give you a minute to do package your offerings.
Okay, you can have your seats for a few minutes. And we're going to dance again in just a little while. Hallelujah. Somebody shout hallelujah. Glory to God. You're moving into your new territory. You're moving into your new places. You're moving into your place of influence. You're taking over territories. You're taking over new mountains. you got to see yourself taking dominion. Every one of you. you got to see yourself taking dominion. And when the Spirit of God is moving, you got to move in the river. Amen. Flow in the river. So Father, right now, I just decree and declare the shalom of Adonai upon every person here. Father, even those that are confused and seem confused in their mind and they cannot understand this measure of praise, I pray shalom in their minds. Still the souls of everyone here, Lord, that they will be able to worship you. Father, connect every person. Let them connect yes. to you, God. The God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Amen. Amen. Right there, click your eyes closed and talk to the Lord. And just ask him to do something special in your life. This is a season of deliverance. So God is going to rain down miracles and deliverance. To every person under the sound of my voice, whatever area you need deliverance in, in your home, in your family, it could be in a marriage, whatever area, just ask the Lord. Say, Lord, let deliverance come in my home. Let deliverance come in my marriage. Let deliverance come in my health. Let deliverance come, Lord. Whatever that area may be, you ask the Lord. We are under an open window of blessing. The commanded blessings are being poured out right now. And this is not, this is why I began the service by telling you, this is not a service ordered by man. This is always a service orchestrated by the Holy Spirit. And so you have to yield your spirit to the will of the Holy Spirit. Now just tell the Lord, whatever, whatever that personal area is, we all have areas we need the Lord to help us you can tell him say Lord help me in this area help me in my prayer life help me in my family help me with my education help me with my studies Father help me Lord teach me your ways show me your pathway show me your plan for my life in this season of redemption in the mighty name of Yeshua to point number two, commanded blessings. We're still talking about the commanded blessings, right? So the first one was the angel of the Lord will go before you and begin to show you your new territories. So right here, under this open prophetic window while you were dancing and worshiping and praising the Lord, the angel of the Lord was dispatched to orchestrate that divine meeting place for you to come into your new territory. In the next seven days, you are going to begin to see it. It will begin to manifest itself to you. Blessing number two. Commanded blessing number two. I will fight against those that fight against you. And you will be untouchable in the earth. And this is a prophetic promise according to Exodus 23 and 23. I'm going to show you Exodus 23 and 23 right for my angel shall go before you and bring you into unto the Amorites and the Hittites and the Perizzites and the Canaanites the Hivites and the Jebusites and I will cut them off the Lord is about to cut off your enemies the Lord is about to cut off those that are fighting against you the Lord is about to cut off
prayer. This is the place that the prophet Jeremiah spoke about, according to Jeremiah 33 and 3, where he says, when you pray, I will hear and I will answer you and I will show you great and mighty things that you know not. This is the realm of promise. What was impossible last month will not be impossible this month. What was difficult last month will be easy this month. What you could not see happening last month, the Lord says, I will bring it to pass this month. The applications that were rejected last month, the Lord says, I will approve it this month. There is an approval and there is a stamp of blessing that is being released on your life this day as you honor the Lord and as you move into your new place. It's the realm of promise. It's the realm where all blessings are released. It's the realm. you and you will be untouchable in the earth. Exodus 23 and 23. The Hittites and the Jebusites and the Canaanites represented giants of the land. Who could fight against the giants? No one really. The giants was really strong. There were strongholds in the new territory. And Israel couldn't fight against the giants without the Lord's empowerment. So this promise in promise number two represents the Lord's empowerment on your life. What you could not handle last month, two months from now, ago, six months ago, the Lord will divine you, divinely empower you to handle it this month. You will be able to handle it this month. And the Lord will give you the power to cut it down. Miracle healing. Miracle healing. When we were dancing and going into our new territory, the Lord was raining down healing, but that's one of the commanded blessings. According to Exodus 23, verse 25. And you shall serve the Lord your God, and he shall bless your bread and your water. And I will take away sickness from in the midst of you. I will take up a sickness. That sickness that was troubling you. That sickness that came to throw you down. That sickness that came in your body. The Lord says, if you will honor me on the day of my feast and come into my temple and honor my day and honor who I am and what I have done, I will bless your bread and your water and I will take away
to you for where you have lost and I'm going to turn every barren place into a land of fruitfulness into a garden of Eden I'm about to bless you I'm going to bless your household I'm going to bless your family and you shall be known as the garden of Eden may you receive fruitfulness on your life receive uncommon fruitfulness in every area of your life uncommon fruitfulness blessing number five we're going over to blessing number five it's a time it's a time of divine settlements divine settlements right it's a time of divine settlements where the Lord is going to shift something to work in your favor it's going to work in your favor divine settlements you know in life sometimes things can happen to us as the righteous right the enemy has a way of sending uh, attacks trials tribulations our way and when those attacks come we can feel a bit as though injustices have been done to us like we were wrong and because we are God's people, sometimes we just have to leave things in the hand of the Lord. Because he says, I will avenge you and I will come true for you. Now God is saying, I have seen those times when they wronged you. I have seen those times when they did you wrong and injustices were done against you. I have seen those times. And the Lord says, I am about to give you a divine settlement. I'm about to shift some things to work in your favor. Divine settlement is coming. Because I am a God of justice. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of my throne. So the Lord is saying, I'm going to give you divine justice. And I'm going to give you divine settlements. So that's your next blessing. That's the fifth blessing. Your sixth blessing. It's a time of deliverance by the blood. It's a time of deliverance. The Bible says, when I see the blood, I will pass over. And so it's a time of deliverance. The season of Passover, it represents deliverance by the blood of the Lamb. So every person that is here today that needs deliverance, deliverance will come. We're going to partake in Holy Communion in just a little while. And as you partake in that Holy Communion, I want you to see yourself receiving great deliverance by the power of the blood. There is nothing that the blood of the Messiah cannot cleanse. No sickness, no sin, no iniquity, no generational curse. There is nothing that the blood of the Lamb cannot break. So every one of us, as we partake in that Holy Communion in just a little while, you're going to see yourself being set free by the blood of the Lamb. Alright? So I'm getting ready to go over to the table in just a little while. So that was number five. That was number six. Yes, that was number six. And number seven. So I'm going to give you number seven in just a little while. I'll save number seven for for last, right? <laughs> I'll save number seven for last. So let's go over to the Passover table now. And as we are partaking in the Passover table, uh, they're going to bring out the Passover that everyone can be a partaker of it. So I'm going to talk to you about 
Let's talk about the four cups. There are four cups that are here on the table. And when we talk about the four cups, it talks about the four expressions of redemption. And um, we're going to pass out the communion in just a little while if the ushers can assist to begin to pass out the communion so persons can have it. So when we talk about the four cups of redemption, we're talking about um, the promises that the Lord made the children of Israel coming out of uh, Egypt. Now, I want you to remember something. That the redemption story coming out of Egypt was no easy redemption. That was one of the most trying and most difficult deliverances of all history. Pharaoh was a hard taskmaster. Pharaoh had enslaved the Jews for a very long time. I think over 400 years. So in order for that deliverance to take place, it really took a, 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 the supernatural hand of the Lord. And so every year for Passover, the Jews, they would have four cups of wine on their table. You know, usually the church, we have one little cup, right? But the Jews will have four cups of wine. And that is representation of something really special. Let me go over here. While the ushers are passing out, you can go ahead. salt water now 
and that represented the tears of the Jewish people during slavery, right? So as the those at the back begin to pass the plates through, so over here now you have the green leafy vegetable, right? Green leafy vegetable, it's just parsley, and this is salt water, and that represents the tears of the Jewish people. So now everyone is going to take a piece of that parsley and dip it in salt water and partake of that parsley. All right? So let's get the um, Passover plates going. This is a big um, part of what they do around the Jewish table. So that's what we're doing. So friends online. that they had on their Passover plate that last night when they came out of Egypt. All right? So now we are going to partake of the caruset and you usually have that with a piece of the lettuce. The lettuce is known as kasaret and this is often used in addition to the moro as a bitter herb. So it's the lettuce and the caruset. And they can use a piece of matzah as well. The bread that is there, that's matzah. You can dip it. You can dip it and try it. All right, so 
Why don't we let Minister Joy try this one? And Nathan, Nathan, you try this one. Uh, Minister Joy, you get it for him. Set. All right, so try it. So it's the crackers and the apples, right? It's an apple paste. Taste it and see if you like it. You like it, Nathan? <laughs> yes? You, you tried it? How is it? It's nice, right? Yeah, this one is not so bitter like the bitter herbs. It's nice and sweet. So you can make this at home. The paste is just apples, um, red wine, and nuts. Some people use walnuts, different types of nuts. And so that's what you get here. It's kind of brown and it looks like, you know, mortar, whatever. So it looks... Somebody says it looks like pillow, you see? Only in Trinidad they would say that. <laughs> Only in Trinidad. <laughs> Alright. So there you have it. Oh, well, it's good, Minister Joy. That's what it is. Alright. So on the plate as well, you have what you call a bissa, which is an egg. And the egg represents the cycle of life, a new beginning of spring. Because as they were delivered out of the old, remember they were going into the new. And that's why that they have an egg on the plate there represented as well. And um, lastly, we have the zoroa, and that's a shang bone. It's the bone of a lamb. And that represents the lamb that was sacrificed on the night when they were leaving Egypt. They sacrificed the lamb and they applied the blood over the doorpost, right? So that's the, put, that's the reason for the lamb bone or the shank bone that is on the plate. All right, so go ahead and serve it out, serve all the lettuce and all of that. Did you try the uh, matzo? Yeah? Everyone tried it? All the kids tried it? Kenneth didn't try it. Miss Alicia, give Kenneth. He tried it? Okay. Miss Jill, you tried it? Which, which one do you like more?
when it's Passover gone. Oh God, they told the children of Israel when they see the blood, they will pass over. My God, this evening, God, we thank you, God, that we have redemption because of the blood of the Lamb this evening, God. We thank you, God, that we have healing because of the blood of the Lamb. We have deliverance because of the blood of the Lamb. Oh, mighty God, we give you praise and we thank you, God, for sending your son, Yeshua Mashiach, to die on that cross, oh God, for us this evening, God. Ah, God, and we thank you, God, that we can come before your throne of grace. We thank you, God, oh God, Father God, as we come to partake of these emblems you told us in the word, as often as we do it, we do it in remembrance of you, oh God. And Father God, we lift up the blood of Jesus, the wine, oh God, that represent your blood. We lift up, oh God, the bread, oh God, that represent your broken body today, God. And we thank you, Lord. Ah, God, because of who you are, God, we are what we are today, Lord. Truly in you, we move and hover our being today, God. And we thank you, God. And we decree, oh God, for as we partake, as we eat these emblems, oh God. Father, we decree, oh God, that there will be sudden turn around in our lives. My God, there will be miracles, supernatural, divine miracles today, oh God, for all those that will partake, oh God, around the Lord's supper this evening, God. We bless, oh God, and we sanctify these emblems in Jesus' name with thanksgiving. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord, for the fruit of the vine, the blood that flows from Emmanuel's veins. Let it bring deliverance, healing, and miracles in our lives. In Yeshua's name, Amen. Let's partake of the wine.
This is you do a wonderful job worshiping and singing, you know. And um, you young people represent the, the new harvest of this ministry going forward. So we love you, we celebrate you. So I'm just going to anoint you. And then you can say something. Amen. If you want. <laughs> such a precious daughter. Father, we anoint her today and we decree and declare open heavens over her life. Father, I decree and declare that as she raise, is up, raises her voice, that the Lion of Judah will roar through her as she sings worship God. I declare that she will come forth in her prophetic ministry and she will begin to paint and she will begin to dance and all that have been spoken over her life. Let her come forth, Lord. Let her be a representation of the newness and the new harvest in this messianic season of miracles. We bless you in the mighty name of Yeshua. Amen. So these are your places to serve. Today. Let every family that receives these baskets be blessed. Father, and bless the hands that prepared it. Bless Sister Becky, bless her mommy, Minister Jill, bless her dad, Simon, bless her gram, her granny, Minister Angie, her brother Nathan, and all of her household. Let them be blessed, God, in Yeshua's mighty name. Amen. So be seated, we're going to serve in a little while. Becky, say something nice to the people. Like Do you have the mic? Alright, the mic is over there. Let's hear what Becky is going to say. I know everyone always hears her sing and worship, but she's a very intelligent child. So say something nice.
as the shalom of the Lord is released over the congregation, as the heavens are open over our lives. A window has been opened, 50 day window. So from now until Pentecost, we're walking along a 50 day window. And in that 50 day window, you're going to begin to see harvest, miracles, healing, signs, wonders, deliverances, all sorts of wonderful blessings is going to be imparted over your life for the next 50 days. And this is something that I always say. When you celebrate the Lord's Feast days, it causes you to trust the Lord and to look to the Lord, the one who formed you and fashioned you, the author and the finisher of your faith. For the blessings that I am talking about, it can never come from the hand of a woman or from a man. It comes from the God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. So as this song plays, we want you to whisper a prayer for Israel. Whisper a prayer for my rabbi, Rabbi Daniel, Jesu and Vargas. Let's whisper a prayer for Rabbi Angus Marishon. And let's whisper a prayer for all our friends and family around the world right now. Thank you. 
um, if you came late to the service, you can do that right now through Minister Abba or Minister Joy. So you can give your offerings or your Passover seeds right now. Persons that are online, you can give online. So your Passover seeds anytime today or for the next seven days online as well.